I'm Vicki Della Gioio, founder of the Way of Joy Spiritual Fitness Program and Renegade Woo Coach, bringing together East Coast attitude with West Coast consciousness. Do you ever have those times when you feel like it's time to step into a bigger game, whether it has to do with your business or how you're relating out in the world to your community or the people in your life who just want to step into a whole new level? And then you hit this place of resistance where it's almost like, no, you can't do it. I have to admit, I'm in that kind of place right now, and it's so uncomfortable. When I see it in my students or my clients, I think of it at like a, an image that pops into my mind is like a, a bow and arrow, an archer pulling back on the bow, and it's very, very tense and very tight right before the release, and that arrow hits its target. In any case, it's super uncomfortable. It's full of voices for me that I think are actually universal of, you know, you're not worth it, or who do you think you are, or, or you're just faking it, or you don't really have the blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, those voices that keep me circling the drain. In the Way of Joy system, I have a concept that I call circles break open into spirals, and it's how we tend to repeat certain patterns of dysfunction again and again until we reach a certain level of a consciousness to jump into a new rung of the spiral. So if you had a critical father or you were overly responsible for your mother or anything like this, how do you take that trigger and then shift it so that even though those triggers may happen again, your response comes from a different place as you do your inner work. I got this concept of breaking those circles open into spirals from a, several different Qigong exercises that I practice, but one of them is called Dragon Tosses the Pearl, which is too long for me to share with you here, but I'd love to share one little piece of it in case you find yourself sometimes in a place where you're circling into something that's keeping you from really going and creating what it is you want to create, being the person that you know you're meant to be. So if you stand with your feet hip distance apart and take your left wrist underneath your right, and you're going to shift your weight into the opposite uh, leg and almost you're going to be drawing a big spiral here with your arm and then you're going to imagine tossing a pearl of energy out on the diagonal and then pull it back and listen what did you do differently and how did that work for you and then just let yourself drop down into that side take the other hand underneath the wrist and create this spiral of energy going up your spine up onto the diagonal, shift your weight and toss that pearl, stay in that same uh, foot and pull back with the hand and listen. I would recommend doing this three times on each side and then bringing your hands back to your lower dantian and just allow that spiral energy to move so it can carry you through as you're working through your and by stuff. <laughs>